name is Barry Finkelstein. I'm with Finkelstein Consulting, Inc. And my question is, what's the difference between cloud computing and virtualization? Hi, Barry. Thanks for your question. To help us uh, get an answer to it, we have with us today Jawahar Sivasankaran. He's a senior manager here at Cisco that uh, talks with customers all the time about virtualization and, and cloud issues. Jawahar, thanks for joining us. Yep. Thanks for the opportunity. Doug. What, uh, what can you tell us about uh, what are some of the key differences between virtualization and, and cloud? Yeah, if, if you took a, sort of take a step back and look at the big picture, I see cloud computing as something that's driven out of the business architecture while virtualization being driven out of the technical architect architecture side. Uh, let, me, let me explain that a little more around what I'm thinking. Cloud computing, it has its roots very, very firmly oriented in the financial and the economics of running IT. So what, what I really mean is you're talking about when you think of cloud computing, it's all about how can you efficiently use your IT resources, your technology resources to drive business requirements. And you can sort of think about it as a, a new cost accounting strategy, if you will, as you move towards IT as a service. Uh, you keep hearing, you know, moving from a fixed cost to a variable cost or capex to opex or pay as you go or pay as you grow. So that's really where cloud comes into play. Whereas if you take virtualization, it, it's really one of the enablers towards a solid cloud computing strategy, especially if you take a large uh, enterprise scenario. So, so you can have virtualization of that technology on its own without cloud, and you can also have cloud without necessarily using virtualization technology, even though there's some advantages to using it. Definitely, yeah. I mean, think, think of uh, the, the, the three typical layers, the definitions of the cloud layers themselves, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. You can go out to a cloud provider, a public cloud provider, and buy any one of these services. Uh, you could just go get a, an IaaS service from one of the cloud provider. Uh, and you don't have to have necessarily a good virtualization strategy to make it happen. You could, uh, and SaaS is a classic example, again, software as a service. You could go get a WebEx conferencing solution today, which is a software as a service solution. You can push your CRM solution to a SaaS-based cloud provider. You can certainly do that, but if you're talking about a true end-to-end -end benefits uh, for, a, for a Fortune 500 type of enterprise, then it's really, if you're talking about some of the steps involved in this journey, virtualization, consolidation, automation, orchestration, provisioning, and sort of you put them all together, you're taking some small baby steps towards your cloud computing journey itself, be it your private cloud, public cloud, or a hybrid cloud that's somewhere in between those two. Excellent. Very good. Jawahar, thanks for your time. Thank you. Barry, thanks for raising the question. Everyone else, thanks for watching Data Center Deconstructed.